Well, hello guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Basic Builder bringing you another video. This time we're doing something a little bit different. Um, first, I want to just thank um, Leaf Productions for allowing me to um, try out his new um, mod uh, that should be hopefully released to the community soon. I'm not 100% sure on his timing. But um, so, yeah, today um, we have. A new kind of build um, it is a roller coaster using the train um, transport ride inside the game uh, we do have a couple of habitats in here um, leaf challenged me to an Australian theme um, so I kind of just started with the, the coaster and went with it from there so um, after I got done building this um, this blueprint and this creation, I, I was just no more rocks. I, I, I was tired of rocks. Um, but anyways, let's uh, hop down in here and take a look around. Um, so we're going to start right here at the, um, at the station, uh, of course. And I decided to name this coaster the Dingo Dash, um, giving the Australian theme that I had to work with. Um, and the Australian animals, I decided to go with some dingoes. Um, so you can see here, um, this is, building is fairly different from what I normally would build. Um, but I think it just turned out so, so good. Um, and with the, the main lift hill in the back and just all the rocks and everything. Um, so the fence... Uh, in the queue line, um, the fences are from Lucas. I'll leave a link to his workshop down below. Um, and then let's see here. There is no pathway up underneath here. Um, so when I do release this to the workshop, you'll have to just kind of figure out the pathing on that. So, uh, anyways, I decided I wanted to use the, um, the lights that are from the uh, aquatic pack um, as not only um, uh, the not only as like landscape lighting but as far as the, the, the lighting all around and honestly I think it turned out really well let's let's go to a nighttime view really quick and I'll show you what I mean so it just really illuminates the area nicely uh, and it, it just gives off a nice vibe here so that's what that turned out to be so now what you're all here for the actual coaster so let's give an aerial overview so here is the layout of the coaster um, as you can tell like I said rocks are everywhere um, I did use a null barrier for the most part to um, keep the uh, the animal barriers itself and then the rocks just cover it all up so um, over in this area here, uh, I believe it actually extends all the way around here. This is the dingo habitat. Um, they have massive amounts of area to just roam around in. Um, and to me, I, I, I really like this little section because you can just see so much of the track and how it interacts and, and uh, being able to see all the animals as you're going through. Uh, the habitats and everything and um, so yeah um, so the other animal that we do have is back over here at the entrance um, it is some saltwater crocodiles um, I thought they would fit really really well in here um, I thought about putting a waterfall in here but with it being kind of a desert savanna area it just didn't make any kind of sense so I decided to leave it as it is. Um, so the entrance to the habitat is actually tucked away underneath these rocks and buried amongst these rocks. And I think it's camouflaged really well are the actual buildings, uh, the staff buildings for each one. Um, so what I struggled with a little bit was how to um, have two habitat gates with one barrier. Um, I, I really struggled with that, but I've, I managed to figure it out. Um, 
so there's actually a pathway for the um, the staff to walk through. Um, I did not. Um, they walk through rocks. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, and then they come out like right over here. And so here is the other uh, habitat gate. Uh, this is the dingoes. Um, you can hear them howling over there. Uh, which do dingoes actually howl? I guess they do in game. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, and you can see here I also camouflaged and and hid in, or hid the uh, the staff buildings as well. So. I wanted to kind of resemble a um, uh, two lift hills here. Um, I struggled quite a bit with on how to kind of finish, especially this one off. Um, I just didn't know what to do, but I think it turns out all right. Um, so I think I need to probably add some more foliage in there. But you know what? I think I like it just plain, just a big rock feature. Um, I think it, it turned out kind of kind of neat, so we're gonna leave it as is. Um, so yeah, guys, let me um, hop down in here, and we will um, take a ride on the Dingo Dash, and then we'll call this video an end. So give me just one second, guys. All right, let's take a ride on this. So we are now leaving the station. So that is the Dingo Dash roller coaster. Uh, I, guys, I, again, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, it was a lot of fun to build. It was a challenge and um, something that I would, I would definitely do again. So um, when this mod, if it does get released, surely please go grab it. It is a lot of fun and it adds just a whole new experience into Planet Zoo. Um, so again guys thank you um for just uh everything that you do for the channel you supporting it watching the videos um and if you are new to the channel thank you for stopping by checking it out um if you haven't already hit that subscribe button please everyone hit that subscribe button let's continue to grow the channel and i uh will leave it there again thank you and we'll catch you in the next video see you guys